Hey everybody, good morning. I know it's early. I know uh, a lot of you are probably still sleeping. I'm gonna show you, we have this Hello Round at the shop that Miss Rachel Holmes did a uh, live on, a couple, I think last month. But I wanted to paint my own version and I'm gonna show you uh, how to paint this if you decide you wanna do that. So I did uh, base coated white and then of course I have my base coat of colors on right here. And so I'm gonna start with this pink and just kind of go around and do this guy, shade him all the way around. Y'all, it's raining here this morning. And it's kind of like, man, we worked outside a lot last, yesterday was gonna work outside today, but I don't think we're gonna work outside today. Good morning, Debbie, you're awake. I know you're awake because you're used to getting up early, early, early. And uh, yeah, it's raining, so, so much for us being able to do some work outside today. So, I thought I'd just come on and do a little bit of painting. I was, I'm actually been painting, um, so I thought, well, just hit the live button because you're going to be painting anyway, and show the folks how you're painting this Hello Round. Uh, Rachel uh, Holmes with Lovey's Flowers did this, I think it was last month, and I decided to do a version of it. Uh, we're really low on a lot of blanks at the shop. So um, I'm hoping we can get all these filled back up. I uh, I can imagine, Debbie, that you getting up now, now that you're retired, getting up at a much different time, but you're probably still getting up early. Because it's like kind of once your body gets used to that, that's just what you do. So I don't sleep late either, even though I don't have to commute to work, I still get up. And I looked at the weather today and I thought, no, this ain't good. And uh, cause yesterday we did a lot of work outside and I thought we we're gonna do a lot of work outside today. But maybe not, maybe not. So I'm just putting some shading on these uh, different parts. These are the circles of my, um, this is really meant to be, you can use this as a door hanger. I'm going to put mine out in the yard and I probably will sell this one at the shop. And I'm going to uh, just do a little bit of shading. Now these, she had these as flowers. And so here's what Rachel did as flowers. She just kind of did like this, just kind of taking your, your brush and just taking that and just um, basically just kind of um, taking that brush back and forth a little bit. So like when I get over here, I could do this just on that outside. Just kind of wiggling it. Uh, that's I've been watching a lot of different folks make flowers. I don't know, some reason this day, um, but it's still <laughs> our machine. Well, it's go, they're coming Friday to work on it, and um, we he got it running a little bit, and he can do certain things, but he can't do any etching right now. So as far as the blanks, yeah, now, Ashley's machine is going, so she's going to do some of the blanks for me, and then. Um, she's going to bring those over. And then on Friday, we're supposed to have it going full steam ahead. So by Friday, I think he'll have it. He actually just kind of worked on it himself and got it going a little bit, but the tool that does the etching of the patterns, he can't do that. He couldn't get that part going. Uh, morning, I know it's early, but y'all it's raining and I was painting. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show him about this uh, Hello Round. And it's kind of like the, it's got florals on it, y'all. and. Uh, the whole thing about flowers, I've been looking at flowers a lot lately for whatever reason, just kind of trying to see what's a good way to do it. And everything I see is kind of like this, where folks are just taking the brush and just kind of going back and forth like that. And I'm gonna do this. Something like, and then of course I've got to come in here and I've got to put a lot of white in here and put some of that. Kind of give it that floral look so um hopefully friday when the guy shows up it'll all be running supposedly it's just a uh, switch that's gone out on the tool changer because ours has a lot of a, a pretty large tool changer so you have different tools in there but you gotta have a switch for each one to make them go so he can do some of the silhouette stuff so he's still working so we can we could cut some of this stuff out, but some of it we can't. And uh, so he's cutting what he can. 
But as far as the blanks, Ashley's having to help me out on that. Hey, Kathy, how are you? It's early, isn't it? I just decided I'm going to be painting, so I decided to, to come on and show you guys kind of what I'm doing with this uh, Hello Round. I think my, Rachel Holmes did it for us uh, in the uh, last month, and she did her own take on it. Well, this is actually her design, so I thought, okay, let me get over here and see what I can do. Kind of make it a little bit of a floral look. And um, it's raining. I, it's like, ugh. But we planted grass at the store, and so we really, I guess, we really need the rain, so I'm not going to complain. We uh, tore up a deck at the store that had a lot of furniture on it and replaced it with nothing but a whole lot of grass so we'd have more room for yard art. And uh, we planted the grass last week, and we've been watering the heck out of it, but this... I think it's supposed to rain most days this week, so it's going to give us a little bit of a of a, an advantage there that we don't have to do as much uh, watering. And I don't know what's got on with the city of Pearland here, y'all, but they're having water billing issues, and they the issues keep getting worse instead of better. And I don't know what's going on. So my water bill has been kind of crazy. I have two water bills, one here at the house one at the shop and it's been kind of high on both of them and they say they're trying to get caught up. So, I don't know, I, I don't know. Hey Tammy, how are you? I am painting a Hello Round. It's kind of designed like a uh, door hanger, but I'm gonna put it out in the yard and I'm kind of doing the floral look. And then of course my pink is just the pink, um, oh Lord y'all, it's just the uh, pink circles in the background. And then all these others are like the florals. Now, I'm going to work on the green. This is just Christmas green that I have right here. But anyway, y'all, I was saying how my water bill here in Pearland, and I think a lot of people are having the same problem, has been real high lately. And y'all, I'm not using any more or less water that I know of. So maybe this rain will kind of help the grass that we planted. I'm just going to come all the way down here with one long run. And uh, this is just Christmas green that I have that I'm doing the shading with, like so. I'm just kind of coming up and going down. Coming up and going down. Now, if you notice, my paint is separating right here, and I think it's because I did not uh, Windex this like I should have, so I'm going to have to come back and work on that. It won't take me long, though. And I, the word hello is right here, and I will do that on top of everything else. So I painted white, and then of course I did my uh, pink circles, my green leaves, and then all of my flowers are different colors. And so the hello, <clears throat> the word hello, I want that to appear on the very top, so I'm gonna paint that last. So I don't know if any of y'all who live here in Pearland are having water issues, water bill issues, but I am. Well, I guess it's not issues. I'm on automatic withdrawal. I just noticed they're taking a lot of money out of my account. What the heck? Okay, you're going to take Cardi. Okay, she's gonna, you're going to be here for at 2 o'clock and yard art for a uh, good deal. Good deal. At the Academy, she's going to be doing a live today on the Summertime Totem. That's the one that's got all the critters on it. I think that's so cute. And um, But anyway, City of Pearland could just keep taking all kinds of money out of my account for my water bill. So it's like, I don't know, how much water are we really using here, y'all? <laughs> it's like, geez Louise, people. So, uh, now I've got that purple and I'm going to put a little bit of shading purple right here. And then as far as that goes, I've got all my shading done. So I've got a little bit of purple here and I'm gonna just kind of do me a purple flower. And then really what I'm calling a flower, I just kind of take this brush and wiggle it. That's all I'm doing. Just kind of giving it a wiggle and just going back and forth. Like that, something like that. And um, then what I would do, I've got a little bit more, I'm gonna have to put some water in here because this paint is kind of thick. So I'm gonna stir this and I'm going to uh, do it like this. I'm gonna get a script liner out 
Yeah, it is. And you know, that's kind of why I, um, I didn't paint it last month because I just didn't get to it. Last month was kind of crazy for us. I think you can kind of tell things are getting more normal. We're on here a little more than we were last month. And so, uh, Lord, y'all, I got stuff everywhere. I uh, wanted to do this last month and I never got around to it. But I'm going to uh, just kind of take, and all I'm gonna do is kind of go on here on the outside and wiggle my script liner. That's all I'm doing. Just giving it a little bit more purple paint. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be, I'm not trying to make an even line. So if your lines are always uh, willy wonky, then hey, you, flowers are good for you. And just put a little bit more out here like so, and like so, and then I'll come back in and do some white. Now that's really wet, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to do any white on that anytime soon. <clears throat> Cause on this stuff that looks like these florals, if I come in here and I start putting white in there, it's gonna get real muddy real quick, and I, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna take my script liner and do it out here. And notice I'm just kind of wiggling that brush back and forth, trying to make my line look anything but straight. I know most of the time we're trying to get straight lines. In this case, we're really not. That's why flowers might be good. You know, if you're having trouble with the script liner, you could always practice on flowers, because it's not a perfect uh, line. So I didn't put a whole lot in there. Now, I, while I have my pink out and my script liner, I'm gonna go ahead and do these circles. So you can do squiggly, all right. Yeah, so here's your chance to do squiggly, uh, Debbie, and, and, and be totally doing what you need and want to do as far as that goes. I'm just kind of coming in here with some of this pink, putting a little more color on there <clears throat> and uh, because I want those circles to have a real good definition. And uh, I have under here Lazy Susan. You might wanna think about a Lazy Susan if you paint very much. Some of you might already have one. And all it is is just something I got at Home Depot like that, and then I put some wood on it. Yep, now you have a use for your squigglies. Yeah, you can do, I've been kind of checking out flowers. I don't know, for some reason, it's just been my thing lately to kind of look at. And um, y'all, you know you're in the right profession when even when you're, quote, not working and you're just relaxing, you're watching videos on how to paint flowers. So, <laughs> you know, then Bruce is over here rolling his eyes. He's like, you don't get enough of painting? I was like, well, I guess not. So uh, I've been kind of looking at how folks are doing flowers, and that's what I see them doing. And uh, I thought, okay, we'll do a few flowers. So I notice I'm going to go ahead and go all the way over here, aren't I? Right over that hello. And then of course I'm gonna come do my hello on top of all of this. Cause I want hello to be on the top. And since it's gonna be on the top, it's gonna be the last thing I do. So you wanna make sure whatever you want on the top is the last thing you do. Whatever you want to appear like at the bottom, that's gonna be the first thing you do if that makes any sense. So, oh Lord, y'all. And also, I've been meaning to, I keep forgetting to tell everybody, I have a, uh, I'm gonna be doing a paint party at the store on, you can choose one of these. I haven't gotten the stencil. I'm gonna call, come on this afternoon, probably do the stencil. And uh, for 35, if you're interested in that, just type in link and I will come in there later, send you a link. It's gonna be on April, I think it's April 24th. We're gonna do a paint party. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna come over here and just do a little bit on the outside. And again, I'm going for a squiggly line. Do you see me moving that hand? I am moving my hand kind of back and forth and back and forth. Y'all, I don't know how I did it, but I've got a lot of wet paint on here. Hold on a second. And that bothers me. Okay, so now I think what I'll do Let's go in here and do some teal. I forgot this little seafoam guy over here, so I'm gonna have to do that one, just a second. All right, and um, but with this weather the way it is, it's like boo-hoo, I don't like this weather. See, I'm just kind of going here and doing that squig, making my line squiggly, back and forth and back and forth. Now, I can't come in here and put white in any of these flowers until this stuff is really, really dry, and it's nowhere near dry. So uh, later on today, this afternoon, I'll go in and I'll do the white. 
And see, I'm just taking this back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, just doing it like that. Not trying to get a straight line at all. Not at all. Trying to get a, a squiggly. Don't y'all like the words that we use when we're painting? Squiggly, wobbly, wonky. It's like... And now I am going to go ahead and use some dark green to outline my leaves. Let me see if I can find it. I know I have some dark green here. Right here. Let's see. I might have to put some water with it. Oh, yeah, this stuff's got to have some water. So, um, we are going to be, actually, I'll be on today at 2 in the Academy. I did, <clears throat> for those of you in the Academy, I did notice I made a bobo. I said I was going to come on the Academy Thursday at 7. I'm going to have to make that Wednesday at 7. Hey, Patrick, how are you? I am um, working on this Hello Round. So, I'm going to... I've got some dark green here, and I'm going to go ahead and come up here, and anyway, I was saying, I made a bobo on the pat on the academy, I was, I had it on the calendar, it's coming in tomorrow, uh, Thursday, to do the boho, but I'm going to come on Wednesday, I'll make a post in the academy as well as that, I, uh, I just got my dates wrong on that, y'all, so I'll be on there Wednesday, which is tomorrow, not Thursday, because today's Tuesday, right? Now, I'm just outlining, and I'm kind of coming in here on that outside line with my script liner. And that's, and I'm gonna come all the way down here. Not very, very, I've got a very, very light touch. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over here, like so. And I'm gonna come over here. And then I'll just take my brush and I'll just do a swooping line like this. All I'm doing is just following that outline. Mm -hmm. And I'll come back and put some white in that later. Okay, now I'm going to do this guy. I'm trying to get this paint to kind of smooth out for me. And then I'm gonna do like so. And I'm just outlining these leaves. That's all I'm doing. Rachel says, hey, love that template you're using. I wonder where I got this, Rachel. I was talking about you a little earlier today. I was saying I, I wanted to do this last month, and I never got to it. So I'm working on, uh, working on it now. Last month was really, we had some construction projects we were trying to finish. This month, I can tell, is just better. I'm getting more time painting and stuff like that. So, um, I'm getting to work on this one. I wanted to do it. Uh, Rachel actually came in and showed us how to do her version of it. I think it was last month she was in doing that. And um, I don't think my flowers look as good as yours, Rachel. Uh, but I'm, I was saying a little earlier, flowers is just kind of something I'm deciding. Oh, I'm going to check out and see what folks are doing. I guess because it's the springtime, maybe that's why I've been thinking about it. And... Um, as far as I can tell, a lot of it is just about trying to make them look, we're always, seems like in yard art, we're always trying to make our lines be smooth and even, but in this case, they're kind of going squiggly. That's the word I use to, uh, to, to describe them. I'm not sure if squiggly would be the right word, but I just move my brush kind of back and forth. And I'm gonna let this dry. Now I am I am saving that hello. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know, there's parts of it I probably can't do. But I'm gonna do some of it so I can show y'all kind of what it's gonna look like. Now I normally would do something like that and probably a solid black. But in this case, I think I'm gonna go with my navy blue, which is a very dark blue. It's uh, it's not a black color but it's very very dark and I'm just putting some water in here and I got too much water so let me put some more navy in here and then I'm going to do it like this so because I want hello on top of everything else I'm going to paint it last okay I think I've got that the right consistency now in a normal situation I would let this dry but I'm trying to kind of show you guys so what I'm gonna do, where I know that blue's coming in, I'm gonna take my fingers 
and wipe off some of that paint so it won't hopefully smear too much. Now I've just got my script liner and my navy blue paint. That's all I have right here. So uh, I know it's kind of early, so probably everybody's getting ready for their day today. I was gonna do some painting outside, but since I can't do that, we got a big uh, skid in of glitter. Y'all, we order a lot of, we spend a lot of money this time of year getting all of our Christmas supplies. So we order, we order Christmas lights, all the lights that we put in our stuff. <clears throat> I ordered that in March. I ordered the glitter in March. And a big skid of that glitter came in. So I've got to go over to the shop sometime in the next day or so. Since it's raining today, I'll probably do it today. And separate that glitter. So I ordered a lot of glitter. It comes in in cases. And some of it I use for my projects. Some of it will go to Ashley for her projects. And then some of it just stays at the store that we sell to customers who are wanting to do their own projects. But y'all, that glitter is so heavy because it comes in a case of 24, I think it's, no, 24 or 48, I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot of weight in there. So uh, I think since it's raining, I'll go to the shop and separate that glitter out. Now you can kind of see what my letters are looking like. I'm gonna do it, well, let's go over this way. I got this under Lazy Susan, y'all. And uh, <clears throat> I like the navy blue. Rachel did a very good job, I think, on this design. It's certainly something, the thing I like, we design some of our own things, and sometimes we buy, we buy designs from other folks. And part of the reason for that, there's, there's two real big reasons. One reason is there's not enough hours in the day to do everything because we run a store and you know we're doing other things as well. There's not a lot of hours in the day to do everything. But also part of the reason why I like to buy, y'all can see this pink is just wet. I'll come back and fix it later. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint right over it for right now. I'll fix it after it's dry. But part of the reason I like buying templates from other people is because I kind of think a lot of times we design, or I do, I don't know if everybody else feels this way. You kind of design things in the same style. Y'all, I've painted for 30 years, and sometimes you just don't want to paint something you've designed. You just want to paint something that's very different. And um, so we got several designs from Rachel, <clears throat> and this is one of hers. And if you need to buy this template, you can go to Etsy and type in Lovey's Flowers, L-O-V-I-E-S, Flowers. And uh, she sells the templates right there on Etsy. And you can cut your own blank. See, super cool. So if we don't make our own blank or our own design, we always try to push where you, where you can go get them. Yes, I like that, y'all, I like that blue. Again, it's not perfect because it's still, some of that pink is wet under there. So like later on this afternoon, I'll come in and I'll fix that. Once that paint is all dry. And it's raining here today. It feels kind of wet out there, so I'm not sure how fast things are gonna dry. I may have to turn on the fans with this guy. But uh, really like this design, Rachel. And Rachel, I'm gonna be doing the boho chicken uh, in the Academy too. You did that last month. I'm gonna do my version of it. Um, I said I was gonna do it Thursday, but that's what I put on the calendar. But I made a bobo, y'all. I'm gonna do it Wednesday, which is tomorrow. But I'll, I'll put a post in the Academy letting y'all reminding and i'll change the calendar on there too let everybody know i'll be on there tomorrow that boho chicken it's busy y'all but it is so precious Shit, rachel uh rachel just did a great job on that design so anyway we've got these blanks uh in the shop at the store if you decide you want to do it and again you can go buy the template at lovey's flowers all one word on etsy and miss rachel has her templates there She's got a lot of other pretty templates, y'all. Y'all got to go check it out. Now, the only thing I'm probably going to do, <clears throat> and I won't do it right now because there's so much wet, but I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. Right? So, this is my round, okay? And I'll, I'll come up there in just a minute and get real close, but this kind of give you an idea. And I'm going to come in here later, and I am going to put some stuff on these, some white. 
I'll also probably put some white on that hello. That hello is darn it, done in a dark navy blue, okay? And there you go. That's Miss Rachel's template. That's my take on it. I think it's super cute. If you want to buy the template, you can go to Etsy and type in Lovies, L-O-V-I-E-S, flowers, all one word, and get the template. If you want to buy the blank, we have it at the store. And I hope you guys have a good day. Ashley will be on this afternoon in the Academy. If you think you want to go to an in-person paint party, I'll be doing these. I'm going to come on probably today and do the stenciling on this one and on this one. If you want to type in link, I'll go back in and look at the comments. And I hope you guys have the best time today. Thank you, Debbie. I love it. Uh, I love the blue. I usually use it a lot and uh, way more than I do the black. And Laura says, had storms in Arkansas at night, but the sun's out now. Well, I guess maybe they moved here, Laura, from Arkansas because it's like we have storm. Even though the weatherman said it was only a 20% chance of rain. Yeah, right. Uh, we were going to glitter today outside, but no can do. I don't think we're going to get to glitter much this week looking at the weather forecast. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope y'all have a good day. Try to stay dry. Bye, guys.